Good day, fellow investors. The S&P 500 is constantly breaking new highs. I've made a video on why that happens with the three factors influencing stock prices, completely distorted from fundamentals, but don't fight the trend. Today, I want to make another video that shows again how you can be completely at ease when investing in stocks. There's nothing to worry about. When the S&P 500 reaches new highs, it means the economy is doing well, earnings are growing, everybody is positive, the Fed is positive, all looks well. I will compare it to the past and you will see that there is nothing to worry about. So, S&P 500 reaching new highs here, the same as it was exactly 10 years ago, reaching new highs in 2007. And nobody was worried, so we don't have to be worried now. A look at S&P 500 earnings 10 years ago, it was also a plateau. We are also now a little bit higher, now we are picking again up. Again, nothing to worry about. Unemployment level, now it's 4.4%, the same as it was in May 2007. So the S&P was reaching then all-time highs and now again, nothing to worry about. Consumer credit was also breaking all-time highs in 2007 when the S&P was also reaching all-time highs and the same situation is now. Nothing to worry about. Interest rates is currently rising similar to the situation in 2004. However, interest rates have reached lower lows and, higher, and lower highs in the past 35 years, so I don't think the Fed can push them to 5% as in 2007, so maybe it can push to 1.52%, as it was the case before in 2007. Nobody was worried, we don't have to worry either, I think. Stocks on margin, you can see the peaks here, 2000, 2007 and 2017. Again, I think we can stay positive. I will finish with two quotes. One quote from Federal Reserve Chair Ben Bernanke, 2007. We believe the effect of the troubles in the supreme sector on the broader housing market will be limited and we do not expect significant spillovers from the subprime market to the rest of the economy or the financial system. 2007, Ben Bernanke, May. Now, a few weeks ago, would I say there will never ever be another financial crisis? Probably that would be going too far, but I do think we are much safer and I hope that it will not be in our lifetimes and I don't believe it will be. 2017, 10 years later, Janet Yellen, Federal Reserve Chair. So nobody was worried in 2007, nobody is worried now. Monetary policy is looking very positive, of course. Janet Yellen, Ben Bernanke, if they would say, oh, there will be a recession in the next two years, then there will be a recession today. So they are not allowed to say that there will be a recession. So they are lying. They know they are lying. I know they are lying. We know they are lying. Everybody knows they are lying, but that's how their job is. They have to lie. They have to always be positive. And that positivity is good. So in the long term. However, the cycles will always appear. Despite that, Nobody was worried in 2007, nobody's worried now, so I don't know. You see if you want to be worried and protect yourself, or you want to do the same as the people did in 2007, pushing the S&P 500 upwards, and not worry because Bernanke and Yellen are saying there is nothing to worry about. It's your life, it's your money, it's your financial decision. Thank you for watching, leave your comments, questions below, I want to see different perspectives and I'll see you in the next video.